Okay guys, this is the finished product and it is a little different than what I started out with. I did eliminate some components, streamlined it, and I now have uh, a circuit that I'm happy with. It is now working. Uh, it's taken me a few weeks to get it perfect. But uh, just let me, let me give you a quick review of everything here. Uh, in the back here, you can see I have an eight battery holder that I created. <clears throat> so that will uh, provide the 10 volts to the circuit. And then I have this running through a current meter, which is showing me how much current uh, this circuit is drawing. And I'm drawing between 50 milliamps and 80 milliamps, depending on uh, what is happening with the circuit with the relays. When the relays are fully turned on, I get 80 milliamps. When they're turned off, I am getting about 50 milliamps. Okay, so this circuit is an oscillator, a very slow oscillator. It will flip-flop back and forth between polarities every, about every 24 seconds. And I can adjust that speed by turning this potentiometer. So what you can see here is I have, uh, so I have two relays. Um, you could replace this with one relay if it was a double pull, double throw, but I didn't have that. And I'm trying to stay true to my original idea of building this project from only components that I've already bought or are in the house. And um, of course, except for the trolley I'm going to buy. Uh, you can also see the timing circuit is made up of uh, two transistors right there. Uh, the bigger one being a power transistor and uh, a, a thousand microfarad capacitor and uh, as I showed before a 100k a 100k 100,000 ohm uh, potentiometer so a, var a variable resistor so you can see this circuit is working pretty good about every 24 seconds these lights uh, as you just saw right there will flip back and forth showing that uh, these two wires here are switching polarities. 24 seconds, this will be negative, and this will be positive, and then it'll flip back and forth. All right, and I'll show you uh, the circuit and how it works next. Okay, so let me give you a quick explanation on how my circuit works, and I'm gonna use an app called Every Circuit. And I really like this app. Okay, so we're going to start with my two relays in the normally closed position. In the normally closed position, you can see this leg is attached to plus 10 volts. So with that 10 volts, if you follow it, it goes into this 10K ohm resistor, which is my potentiometer. Uh, for this purpose of demonstration, I set this value at 10k ohms. You can see this resistor is in series with both a 1000 microfarad capacitor and a 200,000 ohm resistor. Okay, so we know from Ohm's law that the voltage uh, in a in series voltage divider is directly proportional to the ratio of the resistors. So for example, if you had a 500K resistor here and a 500K resistor here, the voltage would be split. So the time it takes for this capacitor to charge will be determined by the RC constant of 10,000 ohms times 1,000 microfarads, and that will give you the time in seconds on how long it will take for this capacitor to charge to its maximum. Now, to turn on these relays, I need five volts. The reason for that is uh, these five volt relays take a minimum of 3.5 volts to turn on. So that's 3.5 volts. To forward bias these NPN transistors, you typically need 0.7 volts to forward bias them. So 
the first transistor here is a switching transistor and that goes into a power transistor so 0.7 plus 0.7 plus 3.5 would give you 4.9 almost 5 volts so when this reaches 5 volts it will turn on these relays okay so let me switch these over turn it on Okay, you can see it just flipped. So it just reached a maximum of five volts. You can see with the graph here. Okay, so the blue represents the voltage on the transistor and that shows five volts. And the green represents the voltage at the relays. And is, as you can see, that is 3.5 volts. These two relays turned on. You can see this leg of the relay now is attached to ground. So this capacitor will now discharge through that same path that we use to charge it to ground. And in turn, when it reaches a voltage of two volts, it will turn off these relays. In turn, going back to the same state we start with. So you can see that the these two polarities are gonna switch back and forth between plus and minus. Now in the circuit I just showed you, that will happen every 24 seconds. And that's how the train is gonna travel back and forth on the track. So they're charging and discharging. And at the very peaks and valleys is when the relay turns on and off. The green line shows the output voltage of the power transistor. Right there, it turned on. And right about now, it's gonna turn off. 